In these books and publications, and I'm going to quote you, in all these books and publications, these Saudi books repeatedly exhort Muslims to, quote, hate them for their religion, meaning us, Christians and Jews and atheists and Buddhists and everybody else, to hate for Allah's sake, always oppose them in every way, maintain a wall of resentment against them. They say that democracy is responsible for all the horrible wars of the 20th century and that attractive names like democracy, justice, freedom, brotherhood, and equality cause all of the world's problems. This is what they're teaching in America, using our democracy to topple our democracy. They say that it is the religious duty of every Muslim to impose, and I continue quoting, functionally Islamic government on every country in the world. This religious duty is binding in principle, in law, in self-defense, in community, and as a sacred obligation of jihad. In order to fulfill the sacred obligation of jihad, they must, and I continue quoting, invade its western heartland and struggle to overcome it until all the world shouts by the name of the Prophet Muhammad and the teachings of Islam spread throughout the world. Only then will Muslims achieve their fundamental goal, all religion will be exclusively for Allah. This is what they are teaching in mosques down the street from your community. Don't be fooled, my friend, with all this talk about interface dialogue and all that nonsense taking place in English. You need to go in and see what they are teaching in Arabic. They are literally building an army, an enemy from within to topple our democracy from within.